Hello again, this is UML Operator. All right, welcome back. In this session, we're gonna learn how to learn Sparks Enterprise Architect faster and easier. So in our last sessions, we did a My First Project video and we did a My First Class Diagram video. So in this session, we're gonna learn how to use Model Builder in order to learn various subjects from the very basic, easiest, all the way to advanced subjects. So we're gonna be using this session here to help whatever level you are to get acclimated to Sparks and your achieve your delivery. So we're in our default layout, browser on the left, properties in the upper right, and notes in the lower right. What we want to do is bring in a toolbox. So we're on the start tab, all windows panel. We're going to select design and we're going to select toolbox. Toolbox is to the right of the browser. And I like to have it to the left of the browser. We're just simply going to drag and drop it. That way, when we bring in a diagram, we have the proper tooling for that diagram. All right. The next thing we're going to do is go to the start tab. We're going to go over here to help and we're going to open help and opening help takes us to the sparks help center. And in the help center, you can select getting started if you want, but I recommend going to the application desktop and in here selecting the ribbon menu. And this way you can go through the various ribbons, whichever one that you need help on. And the most important one is of course the start ribbon and the publish ribbon and their layout ribbon would be tertiary or the third one but go through these and get all the help that you need the next link you want to bookmark to get to we're going to go back to the application desktop is the application in the application desktop you have your browser you're going to want to acclimate yourself to the browser windows some good help that's here and the other windows the property window and the notes window, all right? So these three are the first ones that you're gonna to want to bookmark so you can quickly get to them and then get through them and understand how they work because these are the key features that you're gonna be using when you're learning Sparks Enterprise Architect. Now let's use Model Builder to help us learn and build models. So what we're gonna do is in the browser, we're on the model or the root node. This is level zero, this is level one. We're gonna be at level zero. We wanna create our packages within the root node under model. And then what we're going to do is select this icon right here for model builder. We're gonna bring it up and we're going to choose a subject that we want to learn. So let's say that we want to learn sequence diagram. So we're going to choose SEQ, gets us down into everything with SEQ in it. And you have some choices here, starter, basic, all the way through these different ones. So you pick which one you want to learn about and get started on. And we're going to choose the starter, right? Then when we've selected the one and we're on the parent, which is model right here, we're going to create model and it goes through and it creates a model. And you can see here, now we have a sequence diagram pre-built for us so that we can start, well, how'd they do that? And what do I want to learn? You'll notice that when we brought this up, we got the tooling for sequence diagrams. If we go to a class diagram and bring that model up, we automatically get the toolbox or class diagrams. Let's go ahead and close it, go back to our sequence diagram, and we have our tools ready to go. There's some common tools here that are in every model. One of them is document. So in document, what we wanna do is just, you can select it and just click on it once, or you can drag and drop. And we're going to put a document within this model. And you have an opportunity to name it, we're not going to do that at this time. Let's minimize this and just focus on sequence. We're going to double click it, 
and you're going to get this dialogue. You learn about reporting and document, document management and other videos. Let's just choose none. You have a whole bunch to choose from. We're just going to go with none. So we have a blank one, right? So we have a blank document here, ready to start typing in our notes, putting in our links and doing all those things. However, what you can do is go back to Model Builder. It remembers the last one that you were on. We can come in here and select all, all right? And then we can copy all. And then we can close this, go to our blank document here and paste. And now we have the content from that. Let's go all the way up to the top. You can use the scroll bar here to the top. We get that content, the sample diagram that they did for us, discussion topics, and other references, all right? All in this. And what we can do now is just copy what this is about. Let's go ahead and save this because you got an actress right here. Hit Control S. And then what we want to do is go back to this document here, hit Function Key 2, and then paste in what we just copied, all right? That way, when you're coming in here, you're able to open it quickly, get to this document, and then type any notes that you want. Put any references or links, like links to the videos in this channel to help you better understand and learn how to do certain things. So you can create a project. This is just called My First Project. You can call it anything you want for your organization or your shop like training project or something like that. And then you can very quickly get to subjects for your project delivery with help documentation in it to help your modelers, your stakeholders, learn how to use Sparks to their advantage. All right, that concludes this session. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, please like and subscribe so that you get more of this content when it's available to you. All right, so today we talked about Model Builder and how to use it to your advantage, whether you're talking about beginner conversations or we're talking about more complex conversations. In this channel, we're gonna be getting into some complex conversations that deal with data warehousing, software development, state machines, how to use those for requirement solicitation, well, pretty much scenarios for requirements and much more. So again, I hope this was helpful for you. And if you need any particular subject, comment down below, right? Let us know what you're having trouble with, what you want to learn. We'll either direct you to a video that we've already created, or we'll build a video that helps you. Because if you've got issues, concerns, and questions, many others have the same. All right. So until that next episode, thanks again for watching and happy modeling.